Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today it's all about alliances. Because we're going to be joining alliances with a partner. And today we're going to be looking at Ascension Alliances. This is a new sort of expansion that allows you to play team versus team in the popular deck building card game. It brings on new cards, new mechanics, and allows you to play as aligned pairs. Now, I'm going to do a rule school. So this is going to teach you how to play this new expansion without having to read the rules. So let's get started. In Ascension Alliances, you'll be aligning with another player. You'll be taking your turns together, strategizing with each other, playing cards back and forth at any way you see fit. You'll be sharing honor both on cards and on tokens at the end of the game. There's new banner cards where if you and your aligned player both pay what's there, then you get a special ability that's very powerful for the rest of the game. There's a new Unite mechanism which allows you to gain more bonuses if your aligned member plays the same type of card and faction that you did. And many of these 28 new cards that get mixed with the deck add these different twists for alliances. To set up Ascension Alliances, you'll take the new 28 cards that come in that kit and you'll shuffle them in with the normal center deck. In alliances, you form an alliance with another player. Let's say these two players are aligned and these two players are aligned. When it's this team's turn, both players will play their turns simultaneously. They can share strategies, they can do things in any order, they can do anything they want together as a team, but they're both playing their turns at the same time and then it will go to the other team's turn. Now even though you're sharing strategies and playing together, you never share cards or resources with each other, but you do end up sharing a total pool of honor at the end of the game. And when affecting the other alliance, it affects both of them. For example, if you were able to defeat the Corrosive Widow, then each opponent from the other alliance must both destroy a construct that they control. There's new cards called banners, and if you notice, they'll have two different types of requirements. Now, both of these requirements have to be made by different members of the alliance. For example, one player would have to do six power, and so would the other. In this case, one would have five runes, and so would the other. In this case, one would need five runes, and the other would need five power. Once that's been paid, they place this card up in front of them, and they both get to get the reward from that. And also note that these are not constructs, so if something destroys those, they do not destroy the banners. Once you have this banner, when you acquire cards, you can place it into your allies' discard pile instead of your own if you'd like. There's also new abilities in these cards called Ally Unite. We've just played a life-bound hero. We would gain three honor as normal. However, if our ally that we are aligned with also plays a life-bound hero, we would gain an additional three honor. And we could play this now, and they might play some... Other cards allow them to draw cards and then allow them to play at any time during the same turn. If they're able to unite with you, you'll get that additional bonus. So for example, if my ally played the Flytrap Witch, which is another life-bound hero, this would trigger. However, if I played this, which was an enlightened hero, it's not the same type of faction, so this would not trigger. How you use the Ronin Templars, if there's a monster with a cost of 5 or less, you can defeat it without paying its cost by playing this card. Then you'd replace that monster by normal, using the draw deck. Then, after your uh, ally has finished their turn, you give this card to them as they draw up. So they're gonna drop five cards like normal and have this card for their sixth card on their next turn. If on the same turn that you played this, your ally defeats a monster in the center of a row, you also get both the rewards of honor and any abilities that are on that card. Well, I hope this helped you dive right into Ascension Alliances without having to read the rules and get to the fun quicker. Now, there's some timestamps in the video if you want to jump to different sections, take advantage of that. Also, there's a link in the description of the video for the best place to put any further questions you might have, because not only will I see it, but so will the publisher and they might be able to help as well.